Well, hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your channel intuitive forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. This is a general reading as we expand on the September energies for September 16th through the 30th. So the last half of September 2021, allowing spirit to give us a couple of foundational cards. And then we will get started. All right. By the way, general reading, take what resonates, leave the rest for everyone else. If it does resonate with you, you want to claim the reading. Come on, spirit. Throw a comment below. And spirit is just trying to find the right cards for us, apparently. There we go. All right. Two aces and the love card. Wow. That should be an interesting interpretation. All right. So let us get started with that and then we'll get some clarification from the, um, you know, the smallest deck in the world. Ace of air, ace of water. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Well, interesting. So let me just also ask you guys um, and, and, and tell you how appreciative I am that for your likes, for your subscribes, as to, you know, to support the channel. Really appreciate that. All right, so let's get started here. So we have the Ace of Air, and the Ace of Air is about fate. It's about destiny. It's about law of attraction. All right, it's about powerful forces of transformation that are at work, synchronicity. You know, meaningful coincidences. So you're coming into this period with all this juice. You know, with all this. Um, energy behind you that's attracting things towards you all right and you know spirit is reminding you and here's some a little homework for you so spirit is reminding you that in order to bring all that to you it's about love of self and oneness all right this is in all of life there's a you know this illusion of being separated or separation from spirit or being or feeling alone not so much all right, this is about that joining of you and spirit in this particular deck, you know, and loving. And the way that you do that is to realize that you are pure love. Your entire soul, let's call it, energy, what chi, whatever you want to call it, is pure love. As a matter of fact, you know, we're having, we're a spiritual being having a human experience, and our energy pure love the vibration of that is so high just a drop of it is able our body our physical form is able to handle anything more than that our body can't handle that high of a vibration so connecting to the the rest of us that energetic that we energy that we are and then connecting to all that is in the universe is is really what you're they want, spirit wants you to understand there's so much more to you than what is in that, that, that energy that's in that physical body. And connecting to that oneness is going to attract more deliciousness to you. All right. And then you've got this ace of water. And this is about unconditional love and how it attracts overflowing abundance. And it's about the fertility of love. So this entire foundation here is about realizing that you are pure love. That you are this, ex and, and, and being able to tap into that expansion of who you are. Tap into all the love of the universe and, that, and how that will attract things to you. If you'd like to attract things into the physical form like money, home, friends, family, lover, you have that ability once you realize what this is. So this is a little lesson for you, okay, that spirit is trying to show you something, okay? And this is for every single Aquarius or whoever has Aquarius in their sign. There's no ifs, ands, about, uh, buts about it. This is in general. This is for all of you. And if you're going to put a comment in there that says, I already love myself, then 
and, and, and a nasty gram, guess what? Maybe you don't. All right, I'm sure I'm going to get a couple of nasty grams for that. Again, realize the energy and just say thank you. All right, so with that said, I might lose a couple of subscribers, but, you know, spirit is talking through me. Don't shoot the messenger or the angel in this case. So, spirit, what else do we have here? I guess we're going to find out because they just dropped a bunch of stuff on my... Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks, Spirit. Oh, look at that. Lovely. All right. So, yeah. So, life's been hard. Life's been real hard. More so than normal. Or at least it feels that way for a lot of Aquarians. Um, lots of burden. Lots of financial burden. Lots of emotional baggage that you're dealing with. Uh, feeling overwhelmed. Okay. <clears throat> and, you know, you've taken some rest. Maybe you've been sick. Um, maybe you've just felt really run down. And you've been resting, resting, resting. Um... But when it comes to this feeling of being overburdened, which manifests itself as maybe a physical ailment, um, you really need to decide this, this last half of the month um, how you're going to proceed forward. Lots of things that you've had a lot of, um, the irons and fires of things that just don't seem to work for you and you can't understand why. And you see other people where they just step in it, you know, they step into abundance. And you can't understand, well, how do they do it? Vibration, frequency. They love themselves. They love, they realize that there's love everywhere to tap into. And that kind of abundance, that's not negative Nancy emotions. It's 60 emotions must be nice. Nah, 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 nah. You get that? It's, oh my gosh, how wonderful. Five more minutes on the pillow in the morning. Singing, joyful. You want to kick these people, I know. But they've tapped into the joy. And nothing's going to keep them from the joy. And if you have 90% of your time worrying or feeling terrible... There's only 10% of your life that's fun. Are these people, even when something happens and they're going, hey guys, I appreciate everything. I appreciate you helping me get out of this mess. And um, I'm sure something amazing will come of this, more amazing than I can imagine. Thank you so much for helping me move forward. You can feel the difference, all right? So you have to decide. And, and in order to get to that happy place, maybe you have to think back to a time when things, when you were happy, when you were in joy, when you had fun, when you were light, when you were child, that childlike, you know, a, an ice cream cone made you happy. A trip with your pop through the car wash gave you a thrill. All right? You'll find it. I We know you can. All right? And it'll be, that will be the time to celebrate. You're going to celebrate moving forward you're going to celebrate feeling good for the first time in maybe a while you're going to be able to move into a period where opportunities will present themselves emails phone calls right place right time synchronicities you know you're going to be aligning to you the bigger you the higher self spirit energy I don't care what you call it. We don't care what you call it. But doors will open for you when you realize what you really are. And you'll find the strength. And you'll get the balance you need. The balance and the feeling of contentment that you're entitled to. All right, guys. That's pretty much all I have. I appreciate your likes. I appreciate you clicking that little button to subscribe. You want to claim the reading? Throw a comment below the video. You want to tell me where you're watching from? I love that. Throw a comment below the video. 
and take care. Enjoy the rest of September. We'll see you next time.